Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Hinchy Gymnasium in West Rutland, Vermont, where tonight, boys basketball action, a presentation here on PEG TV. And you are looking at the Pulteney JV boys warming up on the floor here at West Rutland tonight, and they will uh, play the uh, host team, home team, West Rutland Golden Horde. So a good matchup between a couple of good Rutland County teams uh, here on the floor tonight. And let's uh, give you the uh, Pulteney JV varsity, uh, junior varsity uh, roster. We'll start off with... Uh, Number 12, that'll be Jordan Morris, uh, a freshman. That is uh, Pulteney we are looking at warming up on the court. Number 14 is Cameron Camp. He is an eighth grader. Number 20 will be Talon Chambers. Talon is a freshman. Number 22, Will DeBonis, a freshman. Number 24, Ethan Anderson. He is a sophomore. Number 30 is Noah Gillette. Noah is a freshman. Number 32 is Mason Morris. He is a junior. Number 40 is Noah DeLance. Noah is a freshman. And number 54 is Gabe Casey, and Gabe is a sophomore. And there you go. There is the uh, junior varsity roster here for the uh, Pulteney uh, boys. And the boys uh, varsity, or the coaches, we'll mention them all here, Justin Heyer, Matt Cole, Keith Williams, athletic trainer is Zachary Royer. And for the West Rutland Golden Horde, let me swing my camera around here, and we'll give you a little view of the uh, West Rutland boys warming up here on the floor on the uh, other end of the court. And for West Rutland, it is Charlie Duncan. Charlie's number 14. Charlie is a junior. Number 15 is Jaden Kelly. He's a sophomore. Uh, number 11 is Kalen Carvey. Kalen is a uh, sophomore. Number 3, Michael Hartz. Michael is a sophomore. Number 10, Brendan Carty. Brendan is a sophomore. Number 23 is Joey McCurrier. Joey is a freshman. Number 12, Ryan Coolidge. He is a freshman. Number 2 is Brendan Dunlap. He is a freshman. And number 13 is Elijah Zarnecki, and Elijah is a freshman. And that is the West Rutland uh, vars or Junior Varsity uh, roster. And crowd starting to fill in here at Hinchy Gymnasium uh, tonight a little bit. Lots of seats left, though, but uh, the varsity matchup will happen directly afterwards. So uh, a couple of good Rutland County rivals on the floor here tonight. Both are Division Four teams, so should be a nice uh, matchup here tonight from Hinchy Gymnasium in West Rutland, Vermont. It's Pulteney at West Rutland on uh, a PEG TV sports presentation. All right, just about ready to get this one underway here tonight is uh, both teams, JV boys uh, basketball teams at their respective sideline. And uh, let's uh, mention the officials for tonight's uh, game. Your officials are Eric May and uh, Nate Trainer. So those are the two guys that will be uh, refereeing uh, this game. There is Eric and there is Nate over there at uh, center court, the coaches. Coaching staff, I uh, would like to mention them as well. Matt Cole is the uh, JV boys basketball coach for Pulteney High School. And Eric May is the JV boys basketball coach for West Rutland. There are the West Side guys right over there. They're near their respective sideline. And we see the Pulteney boys coming out on the floor here first. So we're just about ready to get this one uh, underway here in just a moment. Coming out there for Pulteney, we see... Uh, Big uh, Gabe Casey on the floor. Cameron Camp going out on the floor. Noah Gillette, looks like he will be uh, one of the starters. Also Talon Chalmers, or Chambers I should say, Talon Chambers. And who am I missing here? I don't know if I mentioned Cameron Camp, but he is uh, also one of the starters. Jumping it up in center circle will be Mason Morris. So Mason getting ready to jump it up against uh, the West Rutland center, Brendan Carty. Off the opening tap, we get a quick west side shot uh, put up, and that one by Ryan Coolidge misses. And we get a rebound coming down to west side. They get another shot put up. A couple of shots, that second shot. Ryan Coolidge and then uh, Brendan Carty. Pulteney with the rebound. So Blue Devils down the floor, and that will be all three on that uh, three points for Cameron Camp hitting that bucket for the Blue Devils. West Rutland down the floor in a hurry. Charlie Duncan got underneath, got some good position left side of the basket for a shot off the glass, which he misses. Blue Devils get it inside Gabe Casey. Good look at it right in front of the basket. Missed the shot. Pulteney with the rebound, though. Chance to reset that offense. Get another shot. Noah Gillette putting that one up, missing. And now a fast break down the floor here by West Rutland. Good opportunity underneath Ryan Coolidge. Not able to convert for the two. And back to the Blue Devils. Yeah. 
All right, it's going to be a blocking foul against uh, West Rutland, so it'll be Pulteney that will uh, inbound it. Blue Devils get ready to do that. Noah Gillette, the inbounder. Three-point attempt put up by Chambers and misses. Off the rim, that one will go out of bounds. Back to west side. Just underway, first quarter action. West Rutland High School's Hinchy Gymnasium. This is JV Boys Basketball. West Rutland, the host team. West Rutland JVs hosting Pulteney here tonight. That is going to be an out of bounds at the West Rutland end of the floor. So they're going to turn it over to the Blue Devils. Some good January basketball is what we are watching here tonight. A lot of uh, crosstown rivalries. Rutland County rivalries happening. This would be one of them. Pulteney and West Rutland. That is going to be three on that bucket. That is Noah Gillette, a freshman for Pulteney, hits the bucket for three. So Pulteney up on top by a score of 6 nothing. just underway first quarter here at West Rutland High School. Charlie Duncan put that West Rutland shot up. Comes off the rim, battle for the loose ball, out of bounds off west side, so Pulteney will have it back. Chambers putting up that shot for Pulteney, missing. Rebound, Ryan Coolidge for West Rutland. West Rutland shot by Brendan Cardi, misses. Pulteney with the rebound, quickly down the floor. Chambers had an open shot, puts it up from three-point range from the right side. And he'll miss that one out of bounds. Back to West Rutland with three minutes gone. First quarter, if you're just joining us, and there's the situation. Pulteney up on top, 6-0, 5.04 left to go. First quarter action. That's a traveling violation. Couple of shots underneath by Gabe Casey in front of the Pulteney basket, neither of which will go. First shot was by Chambers, but Casey two attempts, can't get it to go, but good job on the rebound though. Joey McCurrier, number 23 for West Rutland, getting in there, getting the shot off. Off Pulteney out of bounds, back to West Rutland to inbound it. Yep, loose ball picked up by Casey, here come the Blue Devils. I think that was Mason Morris took that shot. Up oh, the other end of the floor here. We're trying to move down the floor. The ball gets knocked away out of bounds. Pulteney's uh, coach, Matt Cole, making a few changes. A couple of substitutions coming in. Pulteney will have the possession of the ball. And as you can see, Blue Devils will be inbounding at the baseline. So they get ready to do that. Left side shot by Gillette from three point range. Misses off the, rebound, off the rim, uh, rebounded by West Rutland. Cardi with a shot underneath the West Rutland basket. Misses the shot. Pulteney Blue Devils with the rebound. You get a jump ball as it's tied up there on the floor. Oh, you haven't had a basket in a few minutes here. West Rutland still looking for their first basket. West side uh, with no points on the board here. We have 3.53 left to go in the first quarter. Pulteney leads it. Two three-pointers they hit. They lead six to nothing.
All right, Noah Gillette trying to drive to the basket on that baseline, got fouled. So we'll have uh, Ryan Coolidge picking up a foul. And Pulteney will inbound it. That's the uh, second team foul right there on West Rutland. Still looking for their first points. And we do have a timeout. So we'll let you have a look at the uh, Pulteney team right here. Just in front of us under head coach Matt Cole. Varsity coach Justin Heyer over there to the right side as well. And these are the West Rutland guys under head coach Alan White. All right, Pulteney getting ready to inbound it. Ethan Anderson, number 24 for Pulteney, will be the inbounder. Anderson, a sophomore at Pulteney, will inbound again as it was knocked out of bounds. Michael Hart for West Rutland will pick up a foul on that play. Pulteney will inbound again with 3.26 left to go here in the first quarter. They lead it 6 to nothing at Hinchy Gymnasium in West Rutland. Taking their time, Cameron Camp took that last shot, misses off the glass. West Rutland with a rebound, that's uh, Ryan Coolidge down the floor with it. McCurrier, nice baseline drive coming in on the left side, left-handed shot, nice little touch on that. Drops it in for the first West Rutland basket, coming with about two and a half minutes left to go in the first quarter. Score now, Pulteney six, West Rutland two. Okay, another timeout called for. So we have uh, 2.13 left to go here in the first quarter. Pulteney six, West Rutland two. JV Boys Basketball, you are watching a presentation here on PEG TV. This is uh, at Hinchy Gymnasium in West Rutland, which is just an absolutely beautiful gymnasium. A lot of history to this uh, place. And uh, well, a great thing to do here in the middle of January. We're January 18th uh, today, so the dead of winter. <laughs> A little bit chilly outside tonight, so good thing to do. A nice uh, Vermont tradition. Come out and watch some high school boys basketball at night in the middle of January in the winter. Helps make winter go by much better. All right, Ryan Coolidge going to be inbounding the ball here for West Rutland after the timeout. Ball in play. All right, beautiful shot right corner. And that one uh, by... Brendan Carty that just uh, hit that bucket for West Rutland. 6-4 now, two-point advantage, Blue Devils. Nice drive to the basket there by Chambers, misses the shot. Get a West Rutland rebound, we get a fast break put together down the floor. They're gonna be a foul on that play. Probably Pulteney, Cameron Camp. So I'm going to guess, yeah, Cameron Camp's getting his first personal foul. And we'll have a shooter on the line here for West Rutland. Two shots coming. That's Kaylin Carvey on the line shooting, wearing number 11 here for West Rutland. Kaylin is a sophomore. And he's got one more free throw coming. It's Pulteney six, West Rutland four. 
And now 6-5 with that bucket. No full court pressure coming from West Rutland. Pultney easily will inbound it. They'll bring it down the floor, just over the half court line. Ryan Coolidge comes up with a loose ball at the Pultney end of the floor. Pultney got a good plan to get it inside to Gabe Casey. Just a little trouble handling it. Ball knocked loose. Let's see, still loose at the half court. Finally coming up with it, Chambers for Pultney. And right side under the basket, they feed it into Mason Morris. And the junior gets a nice line into the basket off the glass, good for the two. Under a minute left to go here. First quarter action. West Rutland, good look at it, good attempt underneath by Jaden Kelly missing that shot. Pultney Blue Devils with the rebound. Pultney leads at 8-5, final 40 seconds of the first quarter. And how about that one going around and around and around several times and dropping in for the bucket. Cameron Camp hit that one. Gonna get three on that. And nobody keeping track at the other end of the floor of Jaden Kelly goes in for the left-handed layup. Got a nice assist from the other end of the floor. Makes it 11-7 now. Pultney with the lead inside to Gabe Casey. Gabe surrounded by a couple of big defenders in there. And he is fouled. Or is he? Let's see. Nope, there's no foul on the play. So my guess is that Gabe Casey traveled with that basketball. They give it to West Rutland inbound. Pultney going to full court press. There's a travel at the other end of the floor. Last in Charlie Duncan's hands. Charlie's uh, taking a step there. The official to catch him on that violation. So it gives it back to Pultney with 7.4 seconds showing on the clock. You gotta get it over the halftime uh, court line here real quick. Get a shot off and there's your shot. Chambers put up that buzzer shot from that right side three point try. Misses and that is the end of the first quarter. And we'll show you the scoreboard. There are the guest, Pultney Blue Devils leading West Rutland, the home team, 11-7 at the end of the first quarter. The eight minutes up on the board for the second quarter at Hinchy Gymnasium in West Rutland. Once again, Division IV JV Boys Basketball on the floor here tonight at Hinchy Gym. The crowd's starting to fill in. I'm going to guess that a little bit later on when the varsity edition of this matchup comes up, uh, everything's going to fill in here very nicely. But a lot of fun when we get our local Rutland County teams here on the floor. And that's happening all over uh, all over Rutland County uh, here tonight. This uh, night as we speak, Fairhaven boys are playing host to Otter Valley. And the Otters having an excellent uh, season, one of the top teams in Division II boys basketball. We had them on the other night uh, when they had a, a win over Mount Abe Union High School. Fairhaven, we're going to try to get some of their uh, games on as well. The girls doing uh, very Nice this season as well over there at Fairhaven. All right, second quarter action underway. West Rutland inbounds. Steal by Pultney, breakaway layup. Cameron Camp, you just saw, take off down the floor and lay that one in for the two. Pultney 13, West Rutland 7. Nice block on that play. Mason Morris just uh, blocked that shot out of bounds. It was Elijah Zarnecki that uh, was underneath, took that shot. Elijah's shot blocked out of bounds. So West Rutland keeps possession. Ryan Coolidge will inbound. Yep, stolen on the inbound. Now re-stolen by Coolidge at the other end of the floor. Here come the Golden Horde. Shot put up by Zarnecki, misses the shot. Cameron Camp got the rebound. Good job, Blue Devils work it around the perimeter, right in front, they find Mason Morris open. Mason going up for the shot. And now we have uh, Coach White wanting to take a timeout as uh, things starting to come together here a little bit for the Blue Devils. 7.04 left to go here in the first half. 
It's Pulteney 15, West Rutland 7, second quarter. All right, that'll be a quick timeout. We got 7.04 left to go here in the second quarter. West Rutland High School. Ball will be uh, inbounded here by Westside as we see right there. No pressure from Pulteney. <laughs> Out of bounds off West Rutland right there just in front of us at the sideline as you saw. Blue Devil possession. Loose ball picked up by Coolidge for West Rutland. Steal by Cameron Camp, taken off the eighth grader, going right to the basket with it. Got fouled. He should be on the line to shoot. And picking up the personal foul will be Kaylin Carvey for West Rutland. So Cameron Camp on the line to shoot two. That basket makes it 16-7. Pulteney leading West Rutland. He'll get one more. West Rutland shot by Brendan Cardi off the rim, rebounded by the Blue Devils. And they are going to lose it out of bounds at their end of the floor. Back to West Rutland with six minutes exactly left to go here in the first half. Good job, West Rutland. Good ball movement. Kaylin Carvey will finish that off with a shot underneath. Kaylin, one of the sophomores here on this JV team, does a nice job. Got a nice assist in the paint right in front of the basket for the two. Pulteney, same thing at the other end of the floor, working it into Mason Morris. You just saw hit that bucket. So we are trading baskets. Pulteney with a double-digit lead, leading 19-9. to You see a loose ball here at the other end of the floor. Blue Devils are going to come up with it. Chambers got it for Pulteney. All kinds of substitutions coming in right now. That was an out of bounds. It's West Rutland inbounding. That is all net on that, a beautiful shot. Hit right there by Michael Hart for West Rutland, all net. The official giving the three-point signal, 19 to 12. And there's another three at the other end. That is Cameron Camp gonna hit that one for the Blue Devils. So we trade threes. And there's an interception pass picked off there by the Blue Devils. They get down the floor underneath. We'll have a whistle and a foul. Shot was taken right there by Chambers, and I think he got fouled. Looks like Michael Hart's going to collect his second personal foul for West Rutland. And we'll see Talon Chambers on the line to shoot for Pulteney. Blue Devils lead at 22-12, 10-point advantage.
Pulteney right side feed to Will DeBonis on the floor. Will doing a nice job putting that up for the two. Pulteney leads it 25-12. There's a jump ball possession. Pulteney as it was loose and tied up on the West Rutland end of the floor. We have 421 left to go here in the first half. And we are at West Rutland High School, the legendary Hinchy Gymnasium. Hey! Left side of the basket down low, that was DeBonis again, doing a nice job putting some good minutes in here for Pulteney. They lead it 27-12 with that basket. All right, good job on the inbounds. Jaden Kelly will make that basket for West Rutland. 27-14 our score. Pulteney leading West Rutland. Foul on West Rutland. Pulteney inbounds it. And now they travel with it and turn it over. Taking some extra steps was Noah Gillette. Foul, by the way, was on Elijah Sarnecki for West Rutland. So back to West Side with 325 left to go first half. Pulteney leading 27-14. Left corner shot by Zarnecki off the glass, rebounded by Pulteney, and breakaway lip. Cameron Camp hits the bucket, he got fouled. Basket should be good. So Michael Hart is gonna pick up his third personal foul. He'll probably be coming out and we'll have Cameron Camp on the line to shoot. So Pulteney extending that lead, putting some uh, points up here in the second quarter. They lead it now 29-14. Cameron Camp will get one, it's his basket was good. And it is indeed a three point play, 30 to 14 Pulteney lead. Ryan Coolidge shot in front of the free throw line, off the rim, no good. Mason Morris got that rebound. Blue Devils with it there into the floor. Cameron Camp for three. And there's the signal, good for three. 33-14 with that bucket. Pulteney lead. Oops, steal by Cameron Camp. Takes off on a breakaway layup. In for the two. Cameron Camp having a heck of a first half here. Makes it 35-14 with that basket. Corner attempt by Chambers for three to Camp, top of the circle. He'll take one for three. Another rebound by Pulteney underneath. There'll be a foul. Mason Morris got that last shot. He got fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot. Charlie Duncan's going to pick up the personal foul, his second. And let me tip this up here a little bit. You can see we got 2.01 left to go here in the first half. Mason Morris on the line, shooting two here for Pulteney.
Loose ball picked up and in from the free throw line. Chambers, Colin Chambers making the score 37-14 with that Pulteney bucket. That's a foul on Chambers, his first personal. So West Rutland will be inbounding here at the sideline. We have 127 left to go here in the first half. Getting ready to put it in play. Joey McCurrier for West Side. Inbounds pass stolen. And an easy breakaway layup for Talon Chambers. The freshman lays it in with a left hand, making it 39-14 now, Blue Devils. Three-point attempt by Chambers, misses. West Rutland rebounds. Nice drive to the basket, threading the defense there. Kalen Carvey going right in for the right-handed layup for West Side. 39-16, Cameron Camps try for, well, right in the three-point range. Off the rim, no good. McCurrier gets the rebound for West Rutland. Knocked out of bounds, but West Rutland will keep it. So Pulteney back waiting on defense. We have 26 seconds left to go here in the half. Cameron Camp just picked up his second personal foul. West Rutland will inbound with 16 seconds left to go in the first half. Nice job, West Rutland working it into Jaden Kelly off the glass for two. Pretty shot right there. Well, Bolton getting three attempts there underneath and not able to drop that final shot, but they will go to the halftime locker room. With the lead, 39-18. Pulteney leading West Rutland JV Boys Basketball. Halftime at Hinchy Gymnasium in West Rutland, Vermont. Okay, it's halftime JV Boys Basketball at Hinchy Gymnasium in West Rutland, Vermont. The Pulteney Boys, visitors here tonight to uh, West Rutland leading 39-18 at the half. And let's check down some of our halftime uh, stats here for you. And how about we check, uh, we'll start with West Rutland here. Michael Hart has three points here at the half on one three-pointer. Uh, Kaylin Carvey finishes up the half with a total of five points. He had two field goals, one out of two from the free throw line. Jaden Kelly with a total of six points on three field goals. And Joey McCurrier with uh, two points here on a field goal that he got in the first quarter. And for the Pulteney Blue Devils, uh, let's uh, see what we have for scoring. Uh, Jordan Morris, actually not in the scorebook, uh, but... Uh, Let's see, Cameron Camp, we'll add this up, has uh, three three-pointers, or four three-pointers he hit. So he's really been shooting here. Has 12 points on three-pointers. He's got three more additional uh, field goals for six more points. So that'll be 18, and he's uh, three out of three from the free throw line. So it looks like 21 points here at the half for Cameron Camp. He's uh, having a heck of a first uh, half. Uh, Talon Chambers uh, with a total of uh, five points on two field goals and one out of two from the free throw line. Will DeBonis has uh, one bucket for two points. Uh, let's see, Noah Gillette with a total of uh, three points. Mason Morris with a total of two, four, six, uh, eight points uh, here for Pulteney. And that is the halftime uh, scoring. So that's where we stand is uh, both teams warming up on the floor. Actually, the varsity guys are out there warming up. They'll be the next game, but uh, that is where we are at. Halftime, Pulteney 39, 
West Rutland, 18. Halftime just about over with, and we're just about ready to go. It was a good first half here for the uh, Pulteney Blue Devils. They lead it here at the half by a score of 39-18. Visiting here at uh, West Rutland, Hitchie Gymnasium in uh, West Rutland. And a good half uh, for the uh, Pulteney boys. A lot of turnovers uh, by Westside, and Pulteney capitalizing on those uh, turnovers and uh, mistakes there by uh, West Rutland. But uh, second half ready to go, so... Both these teams ready to make their adjustments, and we'll see what happens here. Second half as Pulteney coming out on the floor here first. Excellent first half by uh, Cameron Camp, who was an eighth grader for the uh, Pulteney Blue Devils, but finished up the uh, first half with a total of uh, 21 points. So he had an excellent first half. And by the way, I do want to thank uh, Lori Serrani. Lori's uh, given us the uh, statistical uh, information that uh, we pass along here at West Rutland. She's been helping us all season long, so definitely appreciate that. All right, we're underway. Second half action. West Rutland inbounds the ball first to start our second half. Third quarter action at Henshee Gym. Michael Hart got that shot off. Got loose, got the ball back to Ryan Coolidge. Coolidge puts up a nice little floater. And it comes right off the square of the glass in for the two. So first bucket of the second half belongs to Wes Rutland. 39 to 20, the Pulteney lead. And here are the Blue Devils down for the first time here in the third quarter. Good job driving to the basket. Noah Gillette hit that one off the glass for the two. Pulteney's first basket of the second half. 41-20 is our score. Pulteney up and top. Now we have a whistle and a foul. That's a Blue Devil foul. West Rutland will inbound from the sideline. Steal by Pulteney, as you saw. Talon Chambers taking it to the hoop for a shot. Blocked out of bounds. Good defensive play there by Kalen Carvey. Number 11 for West Rutland. Blocked it out of bounds, but Pulteney keeps possession. Big Gabe Casey getting a shot off that does not go. Pulteney with another chance, though, on the rebound to reset the offense. And a drive to the basket at the other end. Brendan Cardi going strong down the floor with it. Got fouled. Cameron Camp is now going to pick up his third personal foul here for the Blue Devils. And the shooter on the line will be Brendan Carty. Brendan, a sophomore here at West Rutland High School. He'll shoot two as he was fouled while shooting. All right, with that free throw, it is 41-22. Pulteney lead. All right, so Gabe Casey getting in on it again here for Pulteney here in this uh, second half. Going strong to the basket, got fouled. And he'll be on the line. He should be shooting two.
West Rutland's Kaylin Carvey just uh, picked up that personal foul. It'll be inbounded by Poultney at the sideline. 6-11 left to go here in the third quarter. 42-22. Poultney has led this entire basketball game. And they inbound to Cameron Camp. All right, a bounce off Poultney. Joey McCurry right there, number 23 for West Rutland will inbound. All right, West Rutland, couple of different attempts. Carvey will get the uh, two there. It is 42-24, Poultney. Blue Devil shot by Noah Gillette off the rim. Tip back up, I believe that was Gabe Casey. It was actually looking away here, so Gabe right underneath there. We'll give him credit for that. Count that basket, the official says. Ryan Coolidge hitting a beauty, and there's a foul on the play. So Coolidge with a opportunity. That was a three-pointer, so get that rare opportunity to make a four-point play out of this, and we'll see what happens. 44-27. Pultney lead. Coolidge on the line to shoot this foul shot. Misses, but he gets his own rebound. Nice job. Good read. Sees McCurry alone underneath the other side of the basket. Give him an assist on that. So that was a good trip down the floor here for West Rutland. 44-29 with those points. That looked a little off balance, but it went in. Got the job done. Talon Chambers kind of held that arm extended out there on that... Uh, well, looked like kind of a layup, I guess. Away from the basket and hit the bucket. Kaylin Carvey for a three-point try. Misses Cameron Camp with the rebound. And here come the Blue Devils trying to get it down the floor with about four and a half minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Chambers shot is up off the glass, no good. West Rutland with the rebound. West Rutland shot by Carvey, no good. Camp with the rebound. All right, nice little 10-footer up there by Chambers for Poultney. Makes it 48-29 with that basket. Poultney lead.
Well, we'll have a foul there. A couple of shots by, well, first, uh, Brendan Carty put that up, misses. Jaden Kelly on the rebound attempt, trying to go back up. And then that whistle, I guess, is an out of bounds is what it looks like. So they give it back to Pulteney. So a couple of attempts for West Rutland. They come away empty. Back to the Blue Devils with three minutes left to go here, third quarter. Cameron Camp driving to the basket, puts up that little floater left side of the basket. And as you see, the missed shot going out of bounds there at the baseline. So back to West Rutland. Pulteney 48, West Rutland 29. Jaden Kelly got a shot off, misses. Blue Devil rebound. I guess we, uh, well, we have five team fouls, so that's why we are at the line here. They were going to inbound it, and now we'll have shots. So Pulteney will shoot. Chambers on the line to shoot two. Jaden Kelly picked up that West Rutland foul. All right, Cameron Camp on a drive to the basket was fouled. So he'll be on the line, should be on the line to shoot two. That uh, West Rutland foul is going to be on Michael Hart. That was, uh, looks like foul number five on Michael Hart. So he is going to be fouling out of the ball game with two minutes left to go in the third quarter. Cameron Camp on the line to shoot two. Cameron had 21 points at the uh, half and continues to add to that here in this uh, third quarter. As you see, he hit the first free throw. 50 now for Pulteney. They lead West Rutland 50 to 29. All right, so what they just said is the Cameron Camp's basket was good. He made one foul shot. Now it's West Rutland's ball. So it was a three-point play. And Westside will inbound with two minutes left to go, third quarter. Steal by the Blue Devils. And nice easy breakaway layup by Chambers. For Pulteney, 53-29 with that basket. All right, Will DeBonis on the floor there for Pulteney will collect that foul. And the shooter on the line for West Rutland will be Brendan Carty. Brendan will be there to shoot two. Got a lot of fouls here in this uh, third quarter. Both teams have hit that five-team foul limit. We have 142 left to go in the third quarter. Pulteney leading West Rutland.
Brendan Carty picked that off. Nice line to the basket, misses the shot. And Pulteney will miss at the other end as Jordan Morris going in first. So a couple of layups. Both ends of the floor missed. Out of bounds, off Pulteney, back to West Rutland. And again, uh, Cameron Camp will go in for a shot on an assist that it was a turnover there by West Rutland. They feed it down the floor to him. Easy two, another turnover. Will DeBonis right to the basket for a shot, misses. Camp gets the rebound. Back over to the right sideline, puts up the three point try, misses. All right, that was a West Rutland foul. Third personal foul picked up by Jaden Kelly. And on the line will be the Blue Devils to shoot couple. And that is Ethan Anderson on the line to shoot here for Pulteney. Ethan, a sophomore at Pulteney High School. Will DeBonis got that rebound right back to the basket. He gets fouled, so he should be on the line now for two. Actually, everybody will be on the line for two. Any foul after five team fouls per quarter will be a two-shot uh, situation. That is the new rule this year. So any foul here, both teams have hit that five-team foul in it. Brendan Cardi, nice open shot at the West Rutland and misses. Blue Devil rebound, that's the final shot of the third quarter. So at the end of three quarters, here's the scoreboard at the other end of the floor. You see Pulteney up on top, 55 to 30, leading West Rutland. And fourth quarter action coming up at Hinchy Gymnasium, West Rutland, Vermont. Pulteney at West Rutland.
All right, two good shots at the pole on the end of the floor. Mason Morris on the second try, going to get to drop it in for the two. Ryan Coolidge at the other end of the floor puts up a shot, misses. Nice rebound, a good little reverse lay layup. Actually, a no-look layup on that play by Kalen Carvey. Hitting that bucket for West Side. 57-32 is the Pulteney lead. Get a tie up on the floor. Missed shot by uh, Joey McCurrier. Tried to get his own rebound, then a tie up jump ball signal. And actually there might have been some possession there. We get uh, Pulteney calling for a timeout, it looks like. All right, so we have 6.42 left to go here in this basketball game. Pulteney in full command of this lead, 57-32. Uh, I'll show you the crowd across the way filling in for the uh, varsity edition of this uh, coming up. One of the top teams in Division IV basketball are the West Rutland boys, having an outstanding year under head coach Allie Mitchell. This is the JV boys we are seeing, but a good looking JV team. All right, timeout over with, and we're just about ready to get started here again. Clock starts ticking, 6.40 left to go in this basketball game. That is a beautiful shot on that, on that one. That was Noah Gillette that just hit that bucket. Makes it Pulteney 60, West Rutland 32. Quick drive to the other end of the floor. Talon Chambers is gonna hit that bucket for the Blue Devils. All right, back to West Rutland. Gabe Casey for Pulteney just picked up a foul on that play. Ryan Coolidge, good attempt from three-point range, misses. West Rutland rebound, another attempt they get. Kalen Carvey putting up that three-point try, misses. And off the basket, out of bounds. Back to the Blue Devils with five minutes left to go here in this basketball game. JV Boys basketball at West Rutland High School. West Rutland hosting Pulteney. Talon Chambers shot off the rim, no good. Ryan Coolidge with the rebound. Coolidge shot from three, no good. Rebound left side of the basket. Jaden Kelly put up the shot, misses. Coolidge, another rebound. Back in the middle underneath, good job. Find the open man, that's Charlie Duncan that just hit that basket for West Side. 62-34. So you might not have the lead, but you're seeing some good things from West Rutland. Pulteney shot the other end of the floor. Noah Gillette misses that off the rim. Blue Devils with the rebound.
Noah Gillette put up that shot, misses. Jaden Kelly there with the rebound. Bryce Rutland quickly down the floor to Brendan Carty for a shot. Off the rim, that one's no good. Back to the Blue Devils. Going to be a three-point bucket to the other end of the floor. Nice looking shot there by Kalen Carvey for West Side for three. 62-37, Poultney lead. Chambers puts up a shot, misses, gets his own rebound, back up, misses that one. Poultney foul with 2.38 left to go in the ball game. Gives it back to West Rutland. They will inbound and bring it down the floor. Blue Devils back waiting on defense. Ryan Coolidge, left side floater from about six, eight feet out. Misses. Gets his own rebound right back to West Rutland. Another shot by Kalen Carvey. He misses that. Now the Blue Devils come up with it. Mason Morris on the rebound. Here comes Chambers down the floor. Ryan Coolidge for three, West Rutland. 62 to 40 with that bucket. Poultney lead. Under two minutes left to go in this ball game. Joey McCurry here for a West Rutland shot, misses. One of the West Rutland players there limping off the floor. That's Jaden Kelly, looks like he twisted his ankle. He'll be coming out of the ball game. He's replaced by number 14, Charlie Duncan's going in there. And we have 117 left to go in this basketball game. All right, Poultney just using up a little bit of clock here to get to the end of the game as they are obviously going to take away a win here tonight. And they inbound it. We have under a half minute left to go in the contest. Ten seconds left to go. Ooh. 
All right, there is the buzzer ending this game. A good win for Pulteney JV boys over West Rutland. 62-40 is your final score as both teams here shake hands to uh, end this contest at Hinchy Gymnasium in West Rutland, Vermont. Okay, a nice win for the Pulteney JV boys, defeating West Rutland 62-40 here at Hinchy Gymnasium in West Rutland, Vermont. Let's check down uh, the stats here for the uh, JV boys. We'll start with uh, West Rutland, Brendan Dunlop, or actually uh, Michael Hart. We'll start there. Michael had uh, three points in this uh, game tonight. Brendan Cardi with a total of five points. Kalen Carvey, total of 12 points. Ryan Coolidge, eight points. Elijah Zarnecki finishes up with two points. Jaden Kelly with a total of six points, and Joey McCurrier with a total of four points. And for the Pulteney Blue Devils, uh, we had uh, Cameron Camp, outstanding uh, performance here tonight, finishes up with a total of six, uh, no, I make that uh, 26 points. Uh, Talon Chambers finishes up with a total of uh, 13 points. Will DeBonis, two points. Uh, Noah Gillette in the book with uh, eight points. So we had uh, Mason Morris uh, finishing up with a total of uh, 10 points. And also Gabe Casey finishes up with a total of three points. So that is the individual scoring stats. Final stats here for this game at Hinchy Gymnasium in West Rutland on this January 18th, 2024. Pulteney boys defeat uh, West Rutland. A thank you again to uh, Lori Serrani for providing our statistical information. And that'll do it. Again, the uh, winning team right here tonight, the uh, Pulteney boys, 62-40 winners over West Rutland. Thank you for watching.